Okay, hi everyone. Let's work exercise 21-2. It's a question that asks us to determine what's the present value of the minimum lease payments. So we here's the information. Pat Delaney Company leases an automobile with a fair value of $17,110. I'm reading that right there from John Simon Motors on the following terms. And you can see the terms there. There's five of them. The non-cancelable lease term is 53 months in length. There are rentals of $380 per month due at the end of the month, so it is an annuity, an ordinary annuity. Uh, now, they even tell us the present value um, of this, and they give us that information, but I'm going to calculate that myself. Now, uh, the third point there is estimated residual value after 53 months is $1,010. Again, they give us the present value of that. Uh, Delaney Company guarantees the residual value at $1,010. In one hundred one thousand and ten dollars. Okay, the estimated economic life is fifty-five months, so two months longer than the non-cancelable lease. And the company's incremental borrowing rate is twelve percent a year, one percent a month. Um, and we don't know what Simon's implicit rate is, so we have to calculate the present value of the minimum lease payments. Now they give us some hints to do that, but I'd prefer to calculate this myself. So. What do we have to do? Well, we've got to calculate the present value of the payments. That's the ordinary, right? The steady stream of payments that occur at regular uh, interim periods, months, end of every month. And then we've got to add to it the present value of the estimated residual values to come up with the present value of the minimum lease payments. All right, so let's do this one. So um, tell you what I'll do. I've worked this ahead of time. I'll copy it off to the side and then hit the F2 button and show you how you would calculate that. Okay, so if I highlight this, where's the best way I could put this? How about right here where you can sort of see the parameters? Okay, so the rate is given in cell C17. Here, I'll show you how I do that. Type C17 divided by 12. All right, or we could just point to it and you say, well, where's the rate? Take the borrowing rate. Here, let me start from scratch here. Take the borrowing rate, which is on an annual base, basis, and divide it by 12 to come up with the monthly rate. Okay, then if you wanted to calculate the number of periods, that's just given in cell C13. So if I were to work this from scratch, I would just point to cell C13, right? And then you'd need to know the payment amount. Now remember, uh, Excel assumes outflows to be negative and inflows to be positive. So since we want to calculate the present value, and we want that number as a positive number, we've got to show this payment amount as a negative amount. So I'm going to say minus the amount of the payment, which is $380. Okay, and once I have that, uh, that's all I need. There's no future value. We're just calculating the present value of the stream. And we could make this a zero or leave it blank because it's an ordinary annuity, meaning the payment occurs at the end of the period. So I hit enter and I get 15,574. And sure enough, that matches their calculation. Uh, then I also have to calculate the present value of the estimated residual value. Now, this is just the calculation of a present value of a lump sum. So if I were to call this up and redo this, again, what I would do is I would say, well, the rate is equal to the 12% annual amount divided by 12, okay, uh, you know, which gives me 1% per month. Uh, the number of payments, 53, just given in cell um, C13. So if I had to do this from scratch, I would just click here, and type C13, and I'd go on to the next parameter. There's no payment. You could leave it zero or leave it blank, which is my preferred way. And then the future value is uh, we're it w would be the guaranteed residual value. And again, I'm going to assume that's a negative so that I get the present value as uh, the value today of that 1,010. All right, so if I were to scratch, determine this, I would say minus the uh, residual value. And really, though, that's all the, the information I need, uh, 596, and then just sum the two. Okay, so we sum the two, and we come up with 16,170. Um, I could bold that, maybe double underline it, and uh, that's the solution to this one. Thanks, everyone.